Hi everyone and welcome to Photoshop Pro Help. Now today I'm going to be teaching this really cool realistic lake effect. Now this effect is really easy and simple to create and as you can see it's really super effective. Now you can put this uh, effect onto any landscape picture that you want and you can even tweak it. You can make a pond or a curved river or anything that you uh, want for your image. This actually just does the whole lot of it. So we're going to go and jump into our picture that we want to apply this to. This is the original image I worked with and from here we're going to double click that first layer and what that does is you'll get a box come up, click OK and this um, takes the little padlock off and unlocks it and what this does is makes the layer editable for us to work on. So we're going to go and press Ctrl and J to duplicate that layer and we're going to go up to the rectangle marquee tool now which is on the top left hand side. Now you really need to work with your selection processes um, depending on how you want it. I've gone for a rectangle marquee tool because I'm just selecting the whole of the bottom because I want this lake to fill the whole of that um, picture. So. Uh, if you just want a general little pond or a curved river in fact you can do so by changing the selection process so you can go for a elliptical marquee tool if you want a round uh, little pond or a lovely little lake or if you want a curved river you can use the pen tool to work out how you want it so you can have an L shaped or whatever um, and you can work manually with the pen tool now if you don't know your selection processes you can jump to my other video and that will show you on all of the ways of selecting things and stuff like that so once you have um, selected your pro uh, your selection process we're just going to go and drag from the bottom upwards and I want it to be around about there's so half the picture if you are following me that is if you are using um, like a curved river then you'll use the pen tool just to map out and you'll get something like this with the marching ants around from here all you're going to press is uh, delete on your keyboard control and uh, sorry control and D to deselect there we go and from here we're going to go and go to edit going to go transform flip vertical go to the move tool on the top left hand side bring that downwards and all we're going to do now is match up our um, things so around about there will do for me that should be okay zoom back out again press Control and T to free transform and we're just going to go and cover this bit up at the bottom that we don't need click the tick icon at the top and we're just going to go and duplicate this layer now you're probably wondering why are we duplicating this layer what happens is at the end um, your river or your lake or what have whatever you're designing uh, might not look right and there might be bits that you want to just to take out or tweak so what we're going to do to that is add a layer mask and what the layer mask does is relies on the bottom uh, layer which is the duplication layer we just made um, just to add those bits in that we don't actually want to show so once we have uh, duplicated it we're going to go make a new blank layer so go to the bottom right hand side go to the new blank layer icon make sure you've got your default color as white go to the paint bucket tool click your canvas to put it white go to filter noise add noise now add the amount to 50% you can switch between uniform and gaussian and press monochromatic and then click OK once you have done that we're going to go to filter and go to filter gallery now once this comes up we're going to go to stylize sorry sketch sorry and go to base relief and we're going to put the detail to 6 and the smoothness to around about 9 and then click OK go back up to filter go to blur go to motion blur 
and we're going to go and put the angle to 0 and the distance to 75. Now depending on how your picture was taken, so basically the camera angle, uh, you might have to go back and redo this process again because every camera angle is going to be different depending on how the picture was taken. So you want to put the angle to correspond with the camera angle. So just play around with that, do the blur process um, a couple of times just to get it right. So click OK and from here we're going to zoom out and we're going to press Ctrl and T to free transform right click on the canvas and click perspective now all we're going to do from here is hold down shift on our keyboard go to the bottom right hand side corner and drag outwards so there we go so what this does is adds a lovely perspective of distance so we're going to put the uh, bottom piece which is going to be bigger to the top piece so what this does is adds the perspective of the lake um, being further afield so adds that perspective to it so we're just going to go up to the tick icon at the top and click that now once you've done that we're going to zoom back in and all we're going to do now is go to file and save as now what you need to save it as is a PSD make sure you save it as a PSD because it will not accept any other um, format available so this is going to be a texture for our lake so you want to name it distort or whatever you want to call it so you can remember click save and you get a box come up click OK and from here we're just going to hide that layer I'm just going to delete it because we don't actually need it anymore and we're going to go up to filter I'm going to go to filter gallery we're going to go up to distort press glass and you want to go to this little drop down menu, this little arrow pointing downwards, click that and you'll see load image, load texture sorry find the texture, so it's going to be called distort double click that and that will load you'll see the image turn differently now we're going to put 18, the smoothness to 7 and the scaling to around about 126 to around about 140 now you can zoom out by going to the bottom left hand side you see the little minus and plus icon click the minus and you really just want to play around with all the settings getting it right it really depends on your taste at the time so click OK and there we go that's your lake finished now as you can see there is a few things that we need to do to it like these bits down the bottom here now we're going to add a layer mask so go to the bottom right hand side you'll see a little thing that looks like a camera click that and we want to go and select this little white box that's come up which is the layer mask go to your paintbrush make sure you've got a soft brush opacity 100% flow 100% and make sure you've got default colors black and all we're going to do is we're just going to go and tidy this bit up down the bottom here if we don't want it like that so we're just going to have a smooth just a smooth edge for this and there we have it we have um, basically tidied all this up you can do it to uh, the background bit so we can zoom in and just tidy this bit up here which I don't really need to do because it looks okay for this we can just zoom back out now if you haven't put a layer mask and everything is okay so you don't have to do the layer mask and tidy it up you can double click that layer and go to gradient overlay and press gradient and go to this white one to transparent change the white to double click that change it to black click OK and click OK again and then click OK again and what this does is adds a shadow to the whole of the bottom so it gives it uh, a lot more realistic effect now if you have done the layer mask you will see this come up like all this bottom bit here which we tried hiding now don't worry you don't want a layer mask if you um, want to do this but if you have tidied up with a layer mask don't worry don't use a gradient uh, overlay we're just going to go to the burn tool which is on the left hand side so go to that 
and you can have an exposure to around about 60% and you can just go over it very lightly and just darken the areas so basically you're doing all of the shadows manually which is a lot better because you can actually get a feel for how shadows work and stuff so once you've done that that is your image completely done so please comment rate and subscribe um, go check out my website and all my other videos and I'll see you next time guys bye for now